Hi, like everyone, it's very stressful at the moment. There's a lot going on in all of our lives. And that stress, that added stress, that added tension can take you away from the, the body spirit connection. So at the moment, it's really important if you continue to have that body spirit connection because miracles will happen. Absolutely. I'm seeing it in my own life. We have in, in my life, I have a lot of things going on with a lot of variants around it. And some of it's really stressful. And what I'm noticing is that if I stay calm and I stay connected to, let's say, the Holy Spirit, to the universe, to God, everything gets revealed. The truth comes out. That's when I am literally under universal law. And when I'm under universal laws... I'm okay. The moment I get pulled down to 3D, and it's the same for all of us, the moment we get pulled down to 3D is the moment that those laws no longer operate in our life and we're now operating over man-made laws which are not just, they are not kind, and they are not ethical. So if you're feeling stressed at the moment, take a breath. I know that sounds easy, but... It sounds like a cop out to just say, take a breath. What I do is I center myself. So I go into my breath. I go into my third eye. I connect with the water, the cerebral water or cerebral water. Depends how you pronounce it. The cerebral water in my brain. I connect with that because I know I can program it. And that water goes down your spinal cord and goes throughout your whole body. So if you can connect with that water, that's what we do on our Saturday morning meditations. If you can connect with that water and program that water not to allow you to go out of 3D, to go into, not to allow you to go into doubt, into fear, into all of these things. I tell you, everything will work out. Everything will be fine. It's simply a matter of reminding yourself that 3D is an illusion because there's no spirit in it. And anyone that's listening to this understands they have a spirit. They are connected. We're all connected to spirit. And when we understand that we're all one and God lies within us and we start to operate from the universal laws and truths, your whole life will transform. Seriously. So promise me that you will, before you freak out and you go into the drama, because there's lots of drama going on right now, there's lots of things that you can look at and go, oh my goodness, why is that happening? How can I stop it from affecting my life? Well, how you stop it is to take a breath, go into the cerebral fluids in your body, program it of what you will accept. So I program mine to go into a feeling of peace and love to emanate that vibration of peace and love it's like i'm emanating out of my body this this vibration and people have a reaction to that and it's usually a positive one now if the person is plagued by demonic energies or they're a psychopath they'll have an adverse reaction to it they will start to be offended by you they will try to make you angry. And the important thing to do is not to be offended and not to get angry because their role is to take you back to 3D where they reside, where they have power. But when you're in 5D, they have no power over you. And that's the strongest message I can tell you today. Lots of love. Please like, subscribe and do all of that. Share this because I feel it's simple but important. You know, in the teachings of A Course in Miracle and in Jesus Christ teachings as well, the truth is simple. It's not meant to be complicated. And so when when um, we hear these things, they kind of ring inside us and we go, oh, yeah, that's right. I know. I remember to just stay calm. I remember that I am a spirit having a physical incarnation and as long as I remain connected to those spiritual forces, 
everything will be fine. As soon as I go down into 3D, complications, drama, that switching from good and bad and all this sort of stuff starts to happen. And there are many people who want to drag you into drama. Do not go. Stay to yourself. Oh, I see. This is a drama. Do you know when you become cognizant of it, when you realize what's going on, it stops. It stops for you doesn't mean that person's going to change. You see, this is the thing that I think a lot of people get confused about. They think that once you recognize it, the other person's going to change. No, they don't. That other person will go on to perpetrate the same pattern, the same behavior with someone else, just not you. So that's the difference, right? It's not about changing others. It's about changing yourself. So I'm going to love you and leave you and I'm wishing you great success. Please join our meditations on Saturday morning and the healings and downloads on Wednesday evening. You can go to my website, lovelightandtruth.com and scroll down the homepage to find all that information. Lots of love. Bye.